Yeah, today we're going to be changing the Kimco People 250 Drive Belt. Um, let's get started. This is the one that I actually purchased. It's only like 30 bucks off of eBay. Shoot it pretty easy to find. Um, or you can go to your local uh, motorcycle shop, pick up one. But uh, let's get started by removing this cover and the side panels and the rear passenger foot plate. I just removed that because it was annoying and it was in my way. I probably don't put it.
so far I was able to get everything off. It took me a little while to figure out how to get that little metal plate off where my left hand is and I had to remove the um, it's like a little rubber foot um, rest for the person that rides on the rear. Um, I removed that for a little bit more space and uh, as you can see before I removed all the small screws. It's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's about nine screws that hold the metal plate cover on. Um, and I could tell that <clears throat> someone was in here before because they didn't put one of the screws back. It's, and that screw is in a place that's like hard to get. So that whoever took it off probably decided I'm not putting it back on. Because you know, that plate, the cover doesn't really do anything. So, but this air, um, the air gun, the ratchet is, is awesome because of the fact that uh, it locks everything right back on and torques it perfectly. Now, if you don't have an um, air gun, then uh, what you would want to do is you can either purchase or jerry rig a tool that will fit inside those holes and butt up against the uh, ground. If you YouTube um, uh, scooter uh, belt drives, you'll see some people have this tool. It fits in the two holes on the one on the left and any one of the six holes on the one on, the, on that uh, circular um, cover on the right. And uh, yeah, that should be it. And then I'm just gonna put everything back together and we should be good to go. Now we're going to take a look at this old belt and I'll show you the condition it was in when I pulled it out. And you can see as I'm bending this, this, uh, this belt in between the teeth, you can see that the rubber is starting to basically fall apart. Um, so far, none of the teeth were actually damaged um, along the, the, the crest of the ridges, but um, the peaks of the ridges, but it was in bad shape. Um, I think with a little bit more heat and time and going through another winter and another summer, it probably would have broke. So uh, I'm glad I replaced it. And it's not that hard to do. So if you want to give it a shot, I think you can do it if you just take your time and move a little slow. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We have some more 